Hey guys, so today I'm doing a little bit of a different video. I am doing a decluttering video, but not for my beauty stuff, for my handbags. Now, if you guys have seen my decluttering videos before, I've done one on my makeup and one on my bathroom. Um, and I thought, I, before the baby arrives, well, when you guys see this, I think the baby will have already arrived, but I'm pre-filming it. Um, I've been nesting a little bit and just reorganising everything, having a really good clear out, having a really good clean of the house. And I wanted, I've wanted to reorganise and sort out my handbag collection for ages. And I thought now is a really good time to do it. Before I start this video, a bit of a disclaimer, I have a lot of handbags. If you have a problem with that, then please just don't watch this video. Like, I really can't be bothered with all of the comments of you have too many handbags. I know I have too many handbags. Handbags are my thing. I've been collecting them since I was about 15. Um, some of the bags in here are that old. Some of them are newer. Some of them are um, very expensive ones. Some of them are not so expensive. I just handbags are my thing so if they're not your thing and you don't want to watch this video please just don't leave me a comment saying you're ridiculous and got too many handbags because i know i know i have um anyway so it's going to be a handbag kind of clear out um declutter and collection i mean i've done handbag collections in the past but they're usually like split up into various different categories because i have a lot of handbags um what i'm also going to be doing is um selling some of them so I am going to go through and the ones that I have bought myself I'm going to be selling and giving 20% to charity on my Depop and then the ones that I've been given I'm going to give all of the money to charity. So um, if you guys would be interested in buying any of them head over to my Depop and take a look at what will be on there. I'm, I don't actually know at this point because I haven't started how much will be on there um, and what will be on there but you'll find out throughout the duration of this video. So without further ado. I'm gonna show you how I currently keep my handbags and how I store them. So this is the storage cupboard where I keep everything. I'm gonna close it to show you. There's actually a few that are currently outside. So I have um, these cupboards, which are supposed to be linen cupboards, but you know, I don't have that many bed sheets. So I keep my handbags in this one. As you can see, there is a little Lava happy bag hanging on the door there. And I also have a couple of others that I use a lot hanging on this door. Um, so as you can see, there's my Valentino tote bag, which I use all the time. I love it. And my Balenciaga city bag, which again, I use a lot. Absolutely love that. And the lava on the front of here. And then inside, as you can see here, when I moved in, um, to when we moved into this house a year ago, this was very, very well organized. Um, and over the past year, I've got very slack with my organization. As you can see, everything's kind of thrown in there. Some things are in their dust bags. Um, this is not typically how I like to store my handbags. I like to store them like in their dust bags and kind of properly looked after. And as you can see, like, I mean, my 2.55 is just sitting on the shelf there. That would normally live in its box. So what I'm gonna do is go through everything, reorganize, have a little bit of a cull of things that I don't use and I don't need, um, and see what we find in here. At the moment, I store all my kind of smaller crossbody bags at the top. Um, there's no real order here. There's a, they're kind of like overlapped into this section. As you can see, there's a clutch there, which shouldn't be there. My um, two Chanel boxes are also there. My There's a couple, actually, a couple of handbags that are missing from this that are downstairs because I'm currently using them. One of them is my Chanel Boy and the other one is an Aspinall Tote that you guys might have seen recently on my Instagram. I still own them. They're just downstairs being used for my stuff. Um, and then, so I keep like the boxed ones on this level. Um, and then underneath, bigger handbags, kind of like medium sized ones. Um, again, down here, they go to the larger ones here, but then clutches and wallets and little card holders and stuff in this section here. And then the bottom shelf is full of really big totes. So, um, like beach bags and things like that go at the bottom. So that is the current situation. I'm going to go through and see what we find in here. Okay, guys, I've just laid them all out on the bed. This is the first shelf. So these are all the cross bodies and smaller bags. I told you there's quite a lot. I'm gonna go through them pretty quickly. This one is Rebecca Minkoff. I got given this um, as part of their Essie collaboration um, from Essie uh, this year. I really like that, I'm gonna keep that one. This one is from Topshop. I use this quite a bit this summer. I might actually um, sell this because I don't think I'll probably use it too much again. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take the ones I'm gonna sell and pop them on the floor. This one is a little Reese one, which is actually quite cute, but to be honest, I haven't used it that much. I bought it for a specific event and haven't really used it that much, so I'm probably gonna sell that one too. 
I also have, um, this is a Anya Hindmarch little bucket bag, which I love. I bought this in the Boxing Day sales a few years ago and I just haven't used it very much. I find it really difficult um, just to wear because it's quite round at the bottom and it's just quite, I don't know, something about it I find quite difficult to carry, but I do love it. Um, I'm probably gonna sell that one just because it doesn't get the use. And then I also have this little number, which is a um, LK Bennett one. I got this last Christmas. It's like a rose gold um, crossbody. I do really like this. I haven't used it in a while. I'm undecided on that one. I'm going to decide later. <laughs> I have a little uh, metallic Strathbury one, which I think is possibly the cutest thing ever. I'm going to keep that. This one is um, a little Chloe one from years ago that was a gift from Mike, a birthday gift. And I love it, but I don't use it, but I think I'm too sentimental to get rid of it. Don't know how I feel about that one. Then I also have this little one, which is an Aspinall metallic crossbody. I do really love this, but these two are quite similar. And I'm very aware that I probably don't need both of those. So I'm gonna decide between those and sell one of them. This one is a Reese one that I was given as a gift um, in April. I've, to be honest, I've only used it once and I haven't found it very practical. It's actually got a mark on there. I'm gonna try and remove that. That's probably gonna go in the sale pile as well got a bit more space now so I can kind of divide things up this one is this was a gift from the brand I can't remember the name of the brand that I think it's like Fabian or something like that Florian um and it's got an F on it I've only used this a couple of times and to be honest I don't love it I don't love the bubble gum <laughs> for some reason that she's blowing in that so that one's gonna go for sale this one is a Claudie Pierlo chain one, I loved this one, I bought it, but I just haven't worn it that much. It's really, really beautiful, kind of soft leather. I think I'm going to sell this one just because it doesn't get the use. This is a Rebecca Minkoff tassel bag, crossbody. Love this, so useful, especially for like festivals and things like that. Definitely keeping that one. This is a J. Crew bucket bag in this beautiful kind of cornflower colour. Again, I find bucket bags quite hard to wear. I don't know if it's because I'm short. Um, but I do find them really difficult to wear, so I'm probably going to sell that one. And then here I have my Rebecca Minkoff Mac, Mini Mac collection. And I do have quite a few of these. I haven't used them in a long time, but I, over the years I've used them so much. Especially this brown one, which is the brown with the rose gold. I absolutely love it. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these. But at least one of them will be on sale, because I have four of them, and I just don't use them enough. Um... What else have we got? This is an M&S clutch. I haven't used this in a couple of years, so that's gonna go on sale. This one is my first ever designer handbag, or was my first ever one. It was a gift from my mum. She bought it from the Prada outlet in Italy for 40 pounds back in the day. I think I was 14 when she gave it to me. It's cashmere um, and it's got a leather handle and I will never sell it because it's so sentimental. I have not used it in years, but it's super sentimental. Um, this is my Philip Lim metallic, um, what are they called? Oh, I can't remember, baby brain. Um, absolutely love this. I love the colour. I haven't used it in a while, but I love it, so I'm not going to sell it. These two are actually um, mulberries, and they're some of the first ones that I bought back when you used to be able to get mulberry handbags for about £100 in Bista Village. Um, I was probably 17, 18 when I first started working, and yeah, I just love them. Um, this one's actually missing a stud, which is really sad. I might try and get them, see if I can get them to replace that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep those. One day, they'll come back. This one especially is like, so of that time, like 2007. Um, and then this one is a little Celine pouch, which actually comes with a Celine bag, which is in the next shelf down. So we'll join them back together. Okay, so this is my next shelf down and probably my favourite shelf. So not many of these things will be movers. Obviously my Chanel 2.55 is one of my classic bags, not going anywhere. My little Valentino, I love this. I've had it for a um, couple of years now. I adore it, beautiful. Um, a little Dior wallet on chain. I actually got this from Mike for my birthday this year, not going anywhere. This is my Prada Stars and Moons velvet bag. This is my favourite bag in my entire collection. It was actually a gift from Mike for Valentine's Day and I will never ever ever sell it because I love it so much. I just adore it. Little Aspinall trunk which is really cute, like monochrome trunk. 
This is a Sophia Webster glittery clutch bag, which I was actually given as a gift from the brand for my um, seventh YouTube birthday party. Um, and I love it. I think it's so fabulous. I haven't used it that much because it's tiny, but it's just so statement. My Chloe Drew in red, not going anywhere. I use it loads. This one is from a smaller brand called Sue Bella. It's really cute actually, and I do like the orange, but I don't use it very much. So that may be going on there. Not sure yet. Um, Chloe Faye in burgundy, love this. It needs a bit of a polish up because it's a bit scratched. Um, I also have my Chloe Drew in grey, which I also love. Got this little leopard print cl clutch from Givenchy, which was actually a gift from the beauty team um, at Givenchy last Christmas. It's gorgeous, love it. My Jimmy Choo, um, not, not much of this is going guys. My Jimmy Choo um, little black one, which has silver hardware. I haven't used this in a while, but I did go through a phase of using it a lot and I really, really like it. It's a very useful little bag, evening bag. Um, and then I've also got this um, plain black Saint Laurent um, zip clutch wallet, which is really, really plain, but very useful. So it's kind of one of those ones that is, just goes with everything. So I don't think I'm gonna get rid of any of these ones, guys. I think that whole shelf is like my favorite shelf. So this next shelf, I would say, is the golden oldies shelf. Um, I have this number from Balenciaga. This is very, very old. I got this at an outlet in Florence when I was with Mike. I think I'm gonna sell this because I haven't used it in a very long time. Um, it's actually the most beautiful leather, but I just it's not really a style that I would wear much anymore. I also have this Miu Miu bow bag. This was a 21st birthday gift actually, and I haven't used it in years. I used it every day when I was at uni. I absolutely loved it. Um, undecided about what to do with that because it's quite sentimental. This one is actually um, a Proenza Schooler um, book bag that I got in sale. I think I was in Liberties and I got it for about £200, which if you guys know Proenza Schooler, you'll know that is an incredible price. It was reduced massively. Um, and I really like it. I think it's a real classic. I'm going to keep that. Maybe my baby will want it one day. <laughs> um, you never know and I will definitely use it again. This one is hilarious. This is from the very early days of YouTube. First time I ever went to London Fashion Weekend. Um, it's from a brand called Parik Sweeney, Irish designer. Definitely won't use this again. Um, I think this one may go up for sale. It's actually a really beautiful bag. It has really gorgeous tweed lining, but um, yeah, it's a little bright for me now. This is a Prada ombre bowling bag that Mike bought me in 2008 for my birthday. I love it. I probably, I don't use it anymore, but it's very, very sentimental to me. As you can tell, I've used it quite a lot, but I don't think I'll ever be able to sell that. This one is an Anya Hyde March one, which I bought in Bista Village for £150 in 2007, I think. Maybe 2008, actually. Um, and it's beautiful. I've worn it so much. I've used it to death, and it doesn't look like it at all. Um, I don't know what to do with it. I haven't used it in years, but it's beautiful. Undecided on that one. Um, this one is a newer one. This is from Aspinall. It's beautiful embossed leather. That's not going anywhere. I use it loads. This is my little Gucci pearl embellished number. I bought this early this year, actually, and I have used it quite a lot, but I think I might sell it because I quite want to buy a another Gucci style. And I don't think I can justify it whilst I have this one, so... Um, yeah, I think this one might be going up for sale. And then this is my Chloe Drew in beige, which is one of my all-time most used bags. So useful and I love it. So the next shelf down is a little bit of a mixed bag. This first one is um, a leopard print bag from Hill & Friends. I love this. I'm going to keep it. It's crazy, but brilliant. Um, this one is a little suede number from Cosinelle. I have to say, this was a gift from them. and I've never worn it because I find the strap so chunky and hard to wear. Every time I try and put it on with an outfit, I love this part, but the strap actually just doesn't look right on me for some reason. So I think I'm probably gonna sell that one. Um, this is another Hill and Friends number that was actually a Christmas gift last year and I still haven't worn it because I was waiting to wear it in the summer and then I just never paired it with the right outfit. I think it would look amazing with like little um, ripped jeans and a white t-shirt. It's like really, really plain because it is so bright. Um, but I'm going to wear this because I'm going to wear it next summer. I will remember. <laughs> it was terrible because I, I got it at Christmas time and it's not, 
it's not a very wintry colour because it's so pink. Um, the next two are my two Celine bags, which I have to say I might sell because I do not use them and it's a waste having them. The first one is this All Soft bag, which is actually, I absolutely love it. It's just so simple and it fits loads in it and it's beautiful. It's basically um, black leather at the bottom, grey suede, and then it's got an orange suede panel on the inside there. And that's the one that actually comes with the little pouch that I showed you earlier. That comes inside it. So I think I'm probably going to sell that just because I don't use it. Um, yeah, and it's just wasted. And then my trapeze as well, which I love. I got this a couple of years ago. I just haven't used it in years. And, well, probably a year and a half, two years I haven't used it. And I just think it's kind of wasted. But it is beautiful. Um, and then next up, moving on to clutches. This one is a Karen Millen pink suede clutch. It has a chain. It's actually so useful. Definitely going to keep that. It's a really useful little bag. My YSL wallet on chain is one of the most useful little bags as well because you can take the chain off definitely keeping that this little prada patent number i bought um look how shimmery it looks i actually bought this at uh the prada outlet in florence years ago i kind of love it but i have not used it in such a long time it's like a different crinkly material on the back so i'm probably going to sell that this one is an armani like, little pouch um i've used it a couple of times but to be honest it's a little bit large um, so I might sell that one and then I also have this little whistles number which I used to use quite a lot but since I got the Saint Laurent one I don't think I need this in my collection so I think I'm probably going to sell that as well. This is a little gold whistles one. If you guys haven't seen these like little pouches from whistles they're about £40. They're such good quality and they're so useful. I'm going to keep this one because gold is very useful. This one is one of the Kurt Geiger um, versions. I actually don't like the finish of it, it's like an ostrich one so I might sell that. And that is that for that shelf. One more shelf to go, guys. I feel like this is seriously, I'm doing some serious spring cleaning here and I'm loving it. So last but not least, guys, the big boys. <laughs> so first up, this is a beach bag. This is from Anthropology. I love this, absolutely adore it. Not going anywhere. Um, a Kate Spade tote. This is actually a plain white tote and I have used this quite a bit. I took it to Costa Rica when I went a couple of years ago. And it's such a cute little beach bag. I've actually got some charms on the front. But I haven't used it in quite a long time. So I might sell this one. Um, probably that these charms actually go with this bag. Yeah, I might sell that one. Um, then I have this little number from Kurt Geiger. This was actually a gift from them. And I've actually never worn it. I just It's one of those bags that I loved. And I saw it on loads of other people. When, um, like on blogs and Instagram and stuff. And I just never... I never kind of worked out how to style it myself. I don't think it really suited me. So I'm probably going to sell that one. Um, as am I this one because it's actually very, very similar to, this is also Kurt Geiger, to my Saint Laurent Sac de Jour, which I have in black, which I think is a lot more practical and goes with a lot more. Um, so I'm probably going to sell that one. The next one is my Prada double bag. I think this is probably one of the most classic, beautiful bags that I own. Um, and I love it. It's beautiful and it's gone up in price actually a lot. I went to look at them with my friend the other day and since I bought them I think they've gone up about £500 in price so um, yeah I really don't want to sell this. I love it. Look at the inside as well. It's got beautiful beautiful red lining. One of my favourite favourite bags. Um, this is another Aspinall one. This is the Marlebone tote which they actually don't make anymore. They make the ones with the shorter handles and then the long crossbody handles. This is kind of out of shape. It's been a bit squashed but I think this is going to be a really good like baby bag um, when the baby arrives, so I'm definitely keeping that. And then my Saint Laurent Sac de Jour Classic, I actually got this for a really good price as well in Bista Village, it was almost half price. Um, and I use it loads, I think it's such a beautiful classic bag, so that is staying. So guys, I just found this beauty hiding up in the top of the um, cupboards, and this is the Mulberry Roxanne. This was my first like proper handbag purchase when I got my first paycheck proper paycheck when I started working um god how old is this 2007 10 years old I love it I haven't worn it in years I probably won't wear it for a long time but you never know maybe it will have a bit of a comeback I know they've redesigned it recently um but yeah special place in my heart for this little one okay so here is the after guys I'm actually so happy with this it looks so neat and tidy I've actually managed to clear a whole shelf 
um, because this shelf here is a lot more organized and compact so um, what I've done is I've left the top shelf clear I might end up putting like sunglasses and stuff up there which are currently in the next cupboard along um, and then the first shelf I've got all my wallets and stuff which I didn't go through otherwise this video will be five hours long got my two Chanel boxes and other boxed bags here like little clutches that are a bit more um, delicate and then the little little bags and crossbody bags I've kept in their dust bags along here I've actually got a second row for the oldie but goodie sentimental bags that I don't actually use they're going to stay back there and then the next row down are my kind of bigger bags that I use more often so I've left them out of the dust bags but they're actually stuffed with their dust bags and stuffing so they're going to keep their shape they obviously don't get too dusty because they're in a cupboard rather than kind of out on shelf and then as you can see the bottom shelf is the bigger ones again so super super happy with that I'm exhausted now <laughs> Turns out having a massive handbag clear out when you're nine months pregnant feels really good, but it's actually quite tiring. I might go and have a cup of tea um, and then I'm going to get photographing um, all of these to pop on Depop. So, um, yeah, like I said, I'm selling a lot of them um, for charity. The ones that I have bought myself, I'm giving 20% to a charity. I haven't actually decided which charity yet, but I'll let you know on my Depop page. I'll link that below. Um, and the ones that I've been gifted by the brands, they will all of the money will go to charity. So... Yes, I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. I hope you enjoy this. Like I said in the beginning, handbags aren't your thing. I'm just, I'm really dreading the hate from this because I feel like, I don't know, I've got a couple of comments, well, a lot of comments on some of my previous like luxury handbag unboxing videos, things like that being not very nice. So um, I hope this video goes down well anyway. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I will see you very soon. Bye guys.